Hey everyone, this is Kira Hamilton, and I'm going to show you how to use Flip, uh, previously known as Flip Grid, for feedback in the classroom. If you are starting fresh with, uh, with Flip, then this is where you need to start, right? You need to first go to Flip. We're going to click Log In. Once you log in, um, you're going to be redirected to the Flip home page. Now, it's going to probably prompt you to uh, log in using your associated district email and password. Ours is through Google, so that's what I do. That's what you need to do. And your home page, if you're new to Flip, it's going to look a little bit different than this. However, let's just pretend that this um, is, 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 this is mine, but we'll just pretend that you are starting fresh. The first thing you need to do is you need to create a group in Flip. You're going to create a group by sliding over to the left side of your, of the home screen of Flip. You're going to hit the add group or the plus group tab, and then you're going to hit create a group. When you hit create a group, it's going to prompt you to select what type of group that you want to create. Of course, this is using Flip for feedback in the classroom. So, of course, you're going to select classroom and then you're going to select the age group that you teach. Um, for example, I teach high school, so I would select the ages 14 through 18 high school option. Once you do that, it's going to prompt you to name your group. So here... I've created a generic title. You could do something like Miss Smith's History Class Spring 2023. I find giving something a date makes it easier to locate at a later time, uh, especially in like uh, uh, other school years. Now, uh, it's just you and your group. So what you need to do is you need to add members to your group, preferably your students, right? So you're going to click on the members tab right here, it's circled in red. And then you're going to click the pretty purple plus button on the right hand side. And there's a few options that you could do with Flip. However, I think the one that most people are going to want to go to is inviting people using your Google Classroom roster. So what you're going to do is once you've completed this step here, you are going to um, click that button and it's going to prompt you to this left um, image here. It's, you've, it's kind of already defaulted to select anyone with the link. You've also got an option to select any only people you approve. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit more in by options, and then it'll prompt you to your Google to the Google Classroom tab. Once you've done that, you're going to want to um, hit continue with Google, select your Google account, and then it's going to ask if Flip is allowed to access things like your Google roster and the features that Google Classroom has that Flip needs to be able to access. In order to import your roster into Flip, you have to click allow. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna select your classes. So you've imported the classes, now you just need to select which ones you want to include in this certain Flip group. So, now is the fun part, right? You're going to add some topics. To create a topic, you're going to go to the topics tab, hit that pretty purple plus button again, um, but this time you're going to create your actual topic. Just for the sake of simplicity, I've gone ahead and just created a um, very simple uh, topic. What is your favorite pizza topping and why? You can even add a description. You can put a time limit on it. And then once you're done, um, you're going to hit that create topic button. Now, there's some great ones here where you can, um, if you hit the little three dots, there's a lot, lot of options. For this topic, what is your favorite pizza topping and why? I'm just going to pretend like this right here is a student, it's actually me. And I'm gonna click on it, and as a teacher, I'm gonna watch the response. My favorite pizza topping definitely has to be uh, pepperoni, just because I love the mixture of the sauce, with the spiciness of the pepperoni, 
the savoriness of the cheese all loaded onto that delicious carb loaded crust especially if it's a new york style pepperoni pizza you can't beat it there's nothing that compares who doesn't love a good pepperoni pizza from new york city i mean it's sometimes all i think about so let's say you're, this is your student and I'm the teacher and I want to respond. I want to say, oh yeah, I love pepperoni pizza. And I want to let Miss Kira know that I also agree with her. You can like the video, you can comment on the video, and you can put, I love pepperoni. And you can hit send or you can even respond with your own video. So let's pretend that I'm responding to another person. I'm the teacher responding to my student and I can just say something like this. Kira, I agree with you. I love pepperoni so much. Sometimes I wake up and all I can think about is a pizza, a pepperoni pizza from one of those niche little cafes in New York City that have the best thin slice, extra large pieces of pepperoni pizza. And then here you can click next. Tara, I agree with you. I I'm gonna pause that for the sake of the video. You can edit, you can split your clips. You can even add a little bit of background music, right? It's got some uh, generic music that you can choose from, and it's got all kinds of stuff, right? Fun, chill, energetic, inspiring. And then once you're done, you can hit next, confirm your cover. I'm not sure I like that image of me, so what I'm going to do is select a frame Mm, that's a good one with my smile. And then I'm going to submit. So now I've responded. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.